Alright, welcome to part two of this double feature. Let's play some Kerfuffle, a Keros game, 2019. A pint sized one board adventure of silliness. Oh, hmm, it would appear we have the author in the audience. Recommended DOSBox cycles? 9,000. Approximately. Press B to play. So let's see here. Hello, hello. Let's see what we got. Let's kerfuffle. Story. You're Mr. Kurt E. Ruffle. That's pronounced Ruffoufle. You make your living fighting bad guys and making the big bucks doing it. I like this guy. You run on vacation with your wife, Mr. LCK Ruffoufle, to the Bahamas. Unfortunately, the bad guys got to you too easily. A big bad gang called the Grooves. There was a Lion Gru, a Tiger Gru, a Ruffian Gru, and the Gru Gru. That's pretty much what you remember. You woke up in a blazing fire place, strangely unharmed. You did not see Elsie anywhere. But you did see your gun. How to play. Arrow keys to move, shift and arrow keys to shoot, space far. You can only shoot two bullets at a time, but you have unlimited ammo. Veteran DDT players, this might be obvious, but a breakable dark green wall will block the first room of each area on respawn. This is 100% on purpose. Okay. Similar to above, touching the bomb starts to count on a bomb. You can end a run just like anything else. Collect gems to increase your score and possibly get an end game bonus. These gems are 25 score when the game is finished, but wait, there's more. Know that when you are hit, however minor or major the hit may be, you will come back to the same fireplace and you will be restored. But every time you die, you will lose one gem and all score. Ooh, I like this as a score attack. Please note, saving the game and reloading after making a mistake is highly discouraged. The game's scoring structure assumes you are not doing this. However, each time you reach a convert a gem, dark purple gem, you may convert score to gems at a rate of 40 score to one gem. Each converted gem may only be used once, and this conversion rate means diminishing returns. So it makes score harder to lose. Hmm. This, is, this game is gonna kick my ass. One last important note, quitting the game in the middle of the run generation will probably cause ZZT to crash. Don't do this, just let it happen. On recommended cycles of 9000, it should only take around 2 seconds. Interesting. I hope you enjoy this game, and don't forget, good luck. So the converted gem thing, or what's that? Convert 40 score to 1 gem. But let's you sort of keep the gem points later on that you would end up losing from dying. I don't know. This it's interesting the scoring system. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, hello. Told you that this game is gonna destroy me. Oh, I love this, it's randomized. This is gonna take me hours. I really like the concept of this game already. It's just one board, but it's going to be a long one. Um... What? Seems like the run on concept done correctly. I'm 
not supposed to be saving. Oh, boss fight. this game before playing it live for the internet, oh boy. Jam. Forty score. Well, I don't even have forty score, but let's see. Next up. Oh, okay. So there's shortcuts here too, so I won't have to do those rooms again. That's good, because I'm very bad at this. really interesting to think of like people who are competent actually competing for scores and times. So I'm sure I'm gonna finish this with like five points. First one is scary, thankfully. Let's try. Oh, look at that. You can take a risk if you want. Alright, I'm getting somewhere to this room with a tiger boss. There's a slider. And water. This seems very dangerous. Thank <laughs> you. 
good. Wow, the floor just resets as it is. I guess if I wanted to, I could have ran back to the score convert o -matic. Too bad, just because there's those choke points. <clears throat> uh, I was gonna try and be lazy and not go shoot every single line this time, but honestly, it looks like it makes it easier if I can go around this way. Tiger fight again. Bullets crossed, that was scary. That was... Hooray, I did good. I don't know if I should touch these buttons. But I should do this. That's very important. Alright, let's touch the green button. Which I guess is going to mess with the sliders? Oh! <laughs> well, I'm glad I pressed the green button first. And not something there were a lot more of. Okay. I think this is going to blow up the gem. Even this one might. No, that's... I don't know. No, I think that'll be okay for the gem if I just use this one. Let's run far, far away because nobody knows the exact sizes of these explosions. Okay. Uh... So next... Well, it looks like I'm going to have to hit all the buttons eventually. I think it was blue and not use the bombs. Oh, those are not ruffians. That's good. I'm, just, I'm supposed to be playing this like tough guy, but I am definitely just like cowering in the wrong room. Please, tiger. Please go north. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. Next strategy. I'm bad at this game. I'm not worried about getting gems. Next up, I'm gonna hit... What am I gonna hit? I'm gonna hit... Um... Okay, that went actually very well. Oh, that's actually enough to break through here now. This 
see. I think this game needs some kind of timing. Because this is tedious, but it's very safe. This won't free any monsters that survive, so... Well, mainly because I'm going to end up bombing myself. That's why I'm so reluctant with them. Now I should be safe to finish everything off. guys just so I don't completely screw myself over accidentally or something. I got a really good pattern there. Almost. Still gotta get blue. Yeah. That's still really good, actually. Yeah, it's like one freaking tiger. Come on. Am I missing something I should be doing? I mean, I know there's the score converting gem, and there's some gems to get. I guess go ahead and tell me. I guess I could like set light up all of the bombs and then mash the buttons or something, but. I don't know. Let me know. Sure, go for it. Tell me what you want to tell me. There's one secret in each room. Oh boy. I will increase the gem count.
seeing anything odd enough in here. The only thing that, like... Oh, there is a white slider, yeah. The top right room has, like, that island. I wouldn't be surprised if there was, like, a set of fake walls instead of water. Oh, yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. Have some gems. If your wife isn't here, please don't shoot. Aw, oh, it doesn't react to being bombed. Does that include the boss rooms? Well, those don't, like, connect to things. Okay, just the rooms before bosses. Oh, yeah, I can see where the first ones would be then, with the lions. That's a nice touch. Alright, let's try the scary ruffian fight again. That was... that worked well. My strategy of keep st stun locking it so it has to jump to the beginning of its code and not shoot me worked out. Now I can get them gems. Alright, let's see here, what's next? Okay, we got another shortcut. And then... A very scary room. Yeah, we got the author right here. That's what this game is. This is the recently made ZZT game. It just got released like last month. Alright, time to fight the bad guy whose name I forget. Oh boy! Don't like invisible enemies. I'm actually very good at this game. Destroyed that Gru. Dang, I can't go back and try and get more points. Got, the, got that stun lock going. Alright. It's my wife! Oh! Cute. Kerfuffle! So, Mr. and Mrs. Kerfuffle? We're finally reunited again, and shared the usual cliché kiss we were all expecting. The end. Alright, I've got, like, zero... Oh no, I mean, my gems are going to be converted. Alright, I'm a ruffian. I can, I can live with that. Man, 800 points. Although I guess if you clear it in a single run, you probably get quite a lot. Special thanks to a whole lot of folks. That was really fun, and significantly better than Darby Town, to be honest. That's definitely one I could see people trying to go back and become a proper kerfuffler, and not a mere ruffian. The two runs and getting all the things gets you 800 points. Yeah, this this seems like a fun score attack game if you get some other people to play with.
Also, I'm in the credits, so it's that alone makes it a good game. All right. So now's the time to let y'all in on why the HUD is horribly broken. Um, let me see what the best way is to do that. Oh, I here I think I know. Let me just click here. Load up this. Let's load up Kerfuffle actually. Play online. And so uh, I was not using DOSBox at all tonight. So I did not have 9,000 cycles as recommended. I was actually playing in Azzy's super incredibly amazing Zeta emulator. Emulators might not be the right word. It's... Oh, will this fit? That looks okay. So yeah, it was, it was all JavaScript converted into WebAssembly and all that good stuff. It's running the actual zzt.exe executable and it's basically an 8086 emulator that converts all that and yeah he can explain it far better than I can it's C converted into WebAssembly but it's very playable as you can see and there's our kerfuffle all over again this is what I was doing I just have Darby Town here just in a different tab so yeah it's this super yeah, that's another thing. I was terrified of playing an action game on it because um, one, it ain't perfect, but it's extremely favorably competitive against DOSBox right now. If I played Kerfuffle in DOSBox, I'd have been yelling the whole time about keyboard lag and all that crap. So this was a very good result for attempting to and mix it up and use a different engine entirely. So yeah, it's it's tiny, it's pretty solid on performance. Yeah. To be fair, um this was definitely eating my shots in some cases where I would hold shift to fire and not fire. I was definitely, there's a point in the Darby Town portion of this where I ended up just getting wrecked by Centipede and taking like five hits in a row because I did not fire any bullets when I really wanted to, but there's a lot going on here that works fantastically well. It's got, as he's saying, it's got this web version, it's getting proper versions, it's still being developed, but what we've got here is extremely good and really opens up the door for just having like an itch.io page and saying, well, here's my game Kerfuffle, you can just play it right here in a browser and not have to worry about teaching people how to set up DOSBox or mess with CPU cycles on archive.org where those values are hidden. And, well, I can't click pop out, but because that's not what's being captured right now, but I do toss in little full screen and pop out features. It's got it's got a lot going on for it, and the archive.org embeds are still there. So you know if you want to play it ye old fashioned way, you can still do that. Oh yeah, we didn't see. If it crashed. Actually, this is what happens if you do quit from Zeta. Oh, actually, in this case, you get nothing. It just froze up. Sometimes you get the closing ZZT message, but I mean, this is like a super amazing project, and I'm just extremely impressed at the quality here. And I'm very excited for what it means for ZZT as being something actually worth making games in in 2019, like those 30 years later. Uh, I think that's all there is to say right now. Like, as he's talking about, yeah. Yeah, that's another 
awkward thing that I was dealing with. Um, the keyboard input is if I press F1, it would press the P key for me. And F1 is my mic toggle, so you may have noticed me pausing the game a lot when I never actually use ZZT's pause. I always just press escape. But, well, archive.org hides the cycles. It doesn't hide hide them. You have to, like, actually open up the console, and you can see, like, here in our tab. It's talking about all this junk. Is this the DOSBox version? Yeah. So, like, I think... No, there's nothing there. I thought it used to display the cycles in there, but it's still... There's something going on here. And the compatibility is pretty fantastic. You can just pick everything. I just pushed this change to the Live Museum now. You can keep on. So if anybody wants to play MacGyver's EZT in the browser and not have to rely on archive.org, well, you can. It's got some solid capabilities here. There's still some flaws. The drums in the music are definitely off, but again, this rules. Basically all the flaws that Zeta has right now are pretty similar to the flaws DOSBox has, honestly, where, oh, the audio is stuttery or weird. But I think that about covers it for the purposes of the stream. i just switch this out here. Hey, look, see, I updated the thing. It's there in the corner. But thank you all for watching. Um, hopefully Azzy's gonna release some binaries somewhere more open in the future, but Zeta is going to be a big thing for ZZT, honestly, and I'm super excited for it. And if possible, I'll probably keep using it for these streams and just actually link it up to the HUD, because I miss my custom HUD. I like my custom HUD. But thanks y'all for watching, and... Actually, I think I know what we're going to stream next. And... Where is it? Where the heck was it? I thought it got uploaded. Well, I guess I can't show it here. But... Darren Hewer just released another... ZZT game, like, super recently. That's definitely going to be, if not the next stream, then the one after that. But thanks everybody for watching, and yeah, I'll see y'all in a week or two. Later. <laughs>